Praise the Lord, saints of God. Again, we are in our gathering. I thank you for coming out again to um, day four. And uh, in day four, we're going to, this is going to be a pulling out of what we received in our thinking in the last three days of our thinking. And again, this is something um, that I'm doing or this is something that I've been through with experience and I'm sharing my experiences with you. Um, these are uh, seven days of things I go through every single day um, that prepares me to get into another uh, writing or something um, positive. If I'm going after a, a goal or if I'm going after a certain uh, um, success or something I'm trying to accomplish, I always make sure so I prepare myself mentally, uh, spiritually, and physically because it's very important when you get to a level of success you know every time you take a step there is a new devil every time you take a step there is a new um, there's a new hurdle there is something that always uh, gonna pop up in front of you to try to distract you or try to make you stumble or fall on your way to accomplishing the goals that you want to accomplish in life. And I learned uh, a long time ago that success is not free. There's always a price in your uh, pursuing something. There's always a price in you accomplishing something. There's always something uh, there that's going to try to pull from you or you're going to be given out more than you thought you would be given. And sometimes um, we fall uh, into spiritual wounds. Um, spiritual wounds are, are the wounds that you accumulate on your journey. Um, and, I, and I try to keep my mind focused on not falling into uh, all of these things that are um, in the world, all of these worldly things that are trying to distract you, trying to disturb you, trying to take you in directions that you don't want to go in. But this is day four of the pulling out. Day one, uh, we talked about the three levels. Day two, we talked about the three levels. Day three, we talked about the three levels of thinking. And this is day four. There's going to be one day of pulling out. You know, and what has been planted in you, in us, in the last three days of our thinking, that's what we're going to be pulling out on this, uh, just this one day, I want you to focus on pulling out these things that you have gathered um, in you in the last three days, three days of thinking. The ground level of thinking brings, up, brings forth a certain praise in you. It brings up a praise that lifts you above your circumstances and situation it lifts you higher um, than you previously was and the day in the, uh, the third uh, level was the pillar that is also a praise that's a praise for your separation that's a praise for placing yourself in a isolated place that you are able to separate these things that are um, coming up against you, the things that are trying to distract you, 
um, the stress levels, the all of these things, the anguish, the suffering we got to go through. The pillar level is the place where it's peace. It's peace. The ceiling level, that's a level of praise. That's a level of your accomplishments. That's a level that you give God the praise because you have accomplished these things. You have started placing your sandaliers on the roof, on your ceiling, and giving God the praise for them. Giving God the praise for them. Every level has it pulling out. What we have gained is what we are going to pull out. Is what we're going to pull out. Amen. Our thinking. Our thinking. Philippians 4 and 7. Philippians 4 and 7, it says, And the peace of God in our ground level, we have the peace of God. In our pillar level, we have a peace of God. In our ceiling level is a peace of God. The peace of God it passes all understanding. It's a thinking. It's taken account of our lives. What passes all understanding, we have to think above. We are taking these things to another level in our lives. And in Philippians 4 and 8, it says, finally, brethren, finally, brethren, we have gotten past our thinking now it's time to pull out what has been placed in you. Whatsoever things are true, that's what we're pulling out. Whatsoever things that are honest, that's what we're going to pull out of us. Whatever things that are just, that's what we're going to pull out of us. That's what we're going to pull out and apply it in this day. We're going to focus on whatsoever things are true. We're going to focus on whatever things are honest. We're going to focus on whatever things are just in this fourth day. This day is the pulling out the praises that are on the inside. The praises of whatsoever things are true. The praises of whatsoever things are honest. The praises of whatsoever things are just. These are the things we're going to start pulling out of us in this fourth day. If you have time, get on your knees for an hour, hour and a half, two hours. And start focusing on these things. Start pulling these things out of your life. And apply, pulling these things out of your mind and your heart. And then applying it. Focus on it. And when you get off your knees, I guarantee you, you will feel 110% better than before you got on your knees. And again, this is the gathering. This is day four of the pulling out. This is a praise and worship day. A praise and worship day. Amen.